Hi friends, this is another uh, basic diode problem actually. Here it is asking to calculate uh, the current flowing through diode D2 and uh, voltage across some resistor. So the diodes are connected in random fashion. So let's solve this kind of problem. But here it is asking um, to go with some called constant voltage drop model that is when the diode is conducting the forward voltage drop must be 0.6 volts which is already mentioned here so uh, let's uh, solve this uh, question quickly so uh, from the given data this node voltage is uh, v which is clearly mentioned so let's see let's take this voltage this node voltage vx and this node voltage is v which is already clearly mentioned there so now uh, let's uh, deduce some um, um, obvious things clearly uh, if we assume both the diodes d1 and d2 are on then it is obvious that vx minus v must be equals to 0 0.6 volt uh, there should not be any doubt regarding this because uh, when the diode is conducting the forward voltage drop must be 0 0.6 volts as mentioned in the problem so now uh, um let's uh, write kcl kirchhoff's current uh, equation at node vx so that is uh, vx over 5 kilo ohm is uh, going out in this direction and uh, uh, one more current that is going outward direction is uh, i and uh, one more current that is flowing inward direction is nothing but 15 minus vx over 10 so by rearranging the terms simply we can get i is equal to 15 minus 3 times vx over 10 so this is one fundamental equation uh, from the given data and now let's see um, current flowing through this diode let's assume that is id1 so clearly id1 is nothing but 15 minus the diode voltage drop of d1 that is that must be 0.6 volts when it is conducting and minus v over 5 kilo ohm resistor this must be the current flowing through the diode d1 because there are uh, two voltage drops one across uh, d1 and another across 10 kilo ohm resistor so if you write kirchhoff's voltage law also mesh mesh equation then also you will get the same thing so this is 14.4 minus v over 5 so this must be the id1 but if you write the same kcl equation at node v it is clear that v over 10 that is the current flowing through the 10 kilo ohm resistor is nothing but i d1 plus i because both the currents are approaching towards the node v so it is obvious v is nothing but 10 times of i plus i d1 so let's simply substitute and see um, these two things so v is nothing but 10 times of 14.4 minus p over 5 plus 15 minus 3 v x over 10 so these are the two things we need to substitute and um, check it so v is nothing but let's simplify it it is 28.8 uh, minus 2 v plus 15 minus 3 v x so let's rearrange the terms and see 3 times v x plus 3 times v is uh, plus 1.8 is equals to 43.8 so now let's see uh, 3 times vx plus 3 times v is 42 volts so but we know that vx minus v must be 0.6 volts 
and from this equation we will get vx plus v is equals to 14 volts so by rearranging the terms here we will get v x is 7.6 volts and v is 7 volt so now if you solve for the current i which is mentioned on the figure so that is we have already uh, deduced the equation that is 15 minus vx over 10 but sorry 15 times 15 minus 3 times vx i think 3 times 15 minus 3 times vx over 10 so if you substitute vx is uh, 7.6 volt over 10 it is clearly less than 0 milli ampere so the current i is less than 0 which is not possible so it is clear d2 is non-conducting mode d2 is not basically it is not conducting so in this case i equals to 0 clearly now the circuit simplifies like this so there is no d2 in the question so simply this is the v so the diode d1 is conducting so it is 15 volt source is connected here so it is 5 kilo ohm resistor here 10 kilo ohm resistor when the diode is conducting the voltage drop across the diode is 0 0.6 volt which is already mentioned in the question so now let's see clearly 15 minus 6 the current flowing in this direction id1 over so now this id1 uh, uh, will not valid anymore because um, the circuit simplified to something else now so now it is 15 kilo uh, milliamperes so i is nothing but id basically is nothing but 14.4 over 15 milliamperes so clearly v is nothing but 10 times id1 which is nothing but 144 over 15 so which is roughly equals to 9.67 Holds. So in this way we can solve this kind of problems. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.